It's disturbingly satisfying watching this nose goo forcibly extracted, so how can you do it for maximum effectiveness? I'll give you three tips and the third is the most important. Essentially what's happening to produce this green river is that the fluid goes through one side of the nose, round the back and then through the other side in the sinuses to clear out the nose goo. To aid this process and stop the fluid going down into the throat causing coughing, you can tilt the child's head forwards. Sinus rinses can also cause ear pain as many people don't realize that there's a tiny tunnel called the eustachian tube that goes between the middle ear and the nose and when we push that can push fluid up into the ear which means that we need to use more gentle and sustained pressure rather than a forceful squeeze. We also need to use the right fluid at room temperature. Too hot you can burn the nose, too cold and you can cause bony growths and if you use tap water without decontaminating it in rare cases it could have Nigleria fowleri which is a brain eating amoeba. Could be